Hello and welcome to Common Rider Black Man. And today we're going to be talking about something that's a bit of an on and off type of topic. Not just in Sentai or Rider, but in Tokusatsu in general. We're going to talk about, in a way, how power ups or anything new in Tokusatsu is either gained or earned. But I think what's the bigger topic is if whether or not are actually earned. So that's the subject of today's video. Does anything in tokusatsu need to be er earned nowadays or anymore? And honestly, to me, in my, I think it's a matter of the show and what they set up. Though personally... Uh, I think it's when, when things are earned, I think it's just that when things are earned now, it's a bit transparent, depending on how, because I feel like this is just something I ha I'm thinking about right now, because right now what's on my mind is Power Rangers, and how they're so PSA focused, like... Uh, what's the best example? Um, I feel like, power, like I said, yeah, I think Power Rangers is... One thing I'm right now for an example is Power Rangers, just as a whole, with how PSA-focused it can be. And one thing that Power Rangers tries to infuse PSAs into is with character development. And when something... And when there's like a new type of moment of character growth, that's when something new would come in that would not only progress story, but also add on to the Rangers arsenal, I guess. But I think a small issue I have with that is the moral of the episode, to which, eh, which are always hit or miss. Like, the one example that I can think of right now that comes to mind is an episode of Dino Charge called True Black, which is the counterpart episode of Kyoruju, where Kyoru Black uses Dino's Grander for the first time, that battery. Now, we see how, if you've seen Kyoruju, then you know how Dino's Grander is operated. You go to Armed On first and then you access that gear. In Dino Charge, even for the first time I watched this episode back in like 2015, where I was like 16 at the time, I watched it and saw how it was off with saying, because Chase was being a dick to Shelby today, so therefore he can't use this new battery which is honestly kind of crap because the episode starts with him and Armed On and accessing the battery. So literally throughout the show, or at least throughout parts of the episode, he is shown to not be able to utilize it right, mainly due to stock footage. And they all know this. All while Shelby, Tyler, and Ivan are, are, are literally underground losing breath. And all it takes is Chase having to apologize to Shelby for making fun of her for liking a boy band that she likes for him to be able to use the use the armor. Now, when you look back at looking back at the episode now, it's like, yeah, no, it's a bit clunky there, Spe especially since, like what I said earlier, we've se we've seen. Us, the audience, have seen earlier how the battery is supposed to be operated, and so he just did it wrong. So it didn't matter whether or not he made fun of a, anything involving Shelby and hurt her feelings. And honestly, they're all adults. No one could just call him out for that. Or hell, you're making fun of, like, some One Direction ripoff. I don't even think that's that big of a deal. Because, tell, so, that's an example. That's exactly what I mean for an example about how things in Tokusatsu apparently need to be 
earned. But in Kyoruger, it showed that Ian had to figure out how to use the armor on his own. And once he got a small sign or idea as to how, boom, he was able to use it. He didn't have to earn anything. He had he didn't have to earn anything. He had to learn on his own and figure it out. Essentially, he had to work for it, which is what I like more. Like, in Tokusatsu, there are two ways for power-ups or whatever to be gained. You either have to earn it, and you either have to earn it by learning something about yourself or whatever there, and then realizing that, and therefore have some character growth, which is always nice, which is always nice. Character growth is definitely important. But then you get other seasons where it's like, they have a working staff on their side, where so they actually churn out new gear and whatnot on the regular to straight up increase their chances of winning the fight against whatever big bad. And it's like... And I also... But don't get me wrong. There are, there are still plenty of examples of where character growth and earning your victories actually do work. To which I have them down right here. Where, where you actually earn your new form or whatever actually pays off. Best example I could think of, which is my first example for exceptions, is Gokaiger. With Gokaiger, they are pirates. They have came to Earth. They came. They've come to Earth for treasure, but the type of treasure they're they're looking for is very tricky because they have to go and gain the respect, and they're they have to go and gain the respect and acknowledgement of all of the previous 34 Super Sentais to gain their great to gain their greater power and therefore be a step closer to this greatest treasure in the universe that they do gain and in all honesty it feels all the more better and satisfying when the Gokaijers decide fuck this give it up and still stay on earth to just defeat the bad guys. Because at that point, even before then, they were completely acknowledged as a full-blown Sentai. Them just giving that up for the planet and literally defeat the Zenyak because fuck them? Yeah. Greatness. You earned this, so instead, don't... So in instead, use this for our benefit. Nah. Fuck that. This planet needs Sentai. We're not going to be here forever. Let's finish these guys. It's rewarding. It's satisfying. That's where when you where you earn your victories, it works. And it's amazing. And it helps more because it was an anniversary season. Which is probably what makes it all well gel well together. Another example of where earning your victories is actually pretty good, or just adding on to your arsenal, is from a show I haven't talked about in a long time and thought about yesterday, Legend Hero. With Lube, literally almost every, not even almost every form he gets, excluding his final form, is from previous competitors that he's fought against. And the only reason why he has their Legend pieces is because, well, after beating the competitors, he didn't want their partners to die. And so, and even, but even in Legend Hero, they managed to find a balance of the more forms and more powerful he gets, he still has weaknesses. And I like that now, looking back on it. That guy, it's like Legend Hero. It's been a long time since I've seen that show. It's a good show. And, ooh. This is just another example that came to mind of... Oh crap, wait, I was thinking... Ah oh crap, my mind's elsewhere. <laughs> um... Ba ba ba... Oh, okay, next example. Completely got in mind, but I need to switch something up on here. But, I can just do it later. Oh wait, no, I was right. Oh my god, I'm a fucking idiot. God, freaking, I'm an idiot. 
Anywho, more examples of where earning your victories and gaining new powers or new form or, zero, or new zord and whatnot. Geki Ranger slash Jungle Fury. Because these are martial arts students. And honest to God, they don't just earn it by... They don't just earn a new zord or whatnot by finding it somewhere. They work for it. Because what do they gain? An elephant, a shark, and a bat. What do they have to do? They had to learn how to adapt from nunchucks, bosaf, and tonfa to straight up meteor hammer. Throw that out there right now. It's not actually a mace. It's actually called a meteor hammer. It's a real weapon. Look it up. Fan, like, wow, oh, their weapon. Switching from nunchucks, bosaf, and tonfa to meteor hammer. War fan and for for the love of God, dual swords. Like so, yeah. The, and like I said, they're martial arts students, and they work to earn what they get. And while I'm at it too, another example I was thinking of is Blade, because the card collecting thing in Blade, it's a matter of fifty-two pickup. Because with each undead they seal, they get a new rouse card, and therefore a new attack card, or a new form. And like, and with Blade it's nice because, like I said, the whole 52 pickup comparison is actually integrated into the story well, and ties into the end game. Oh, and while I'm at it, one more example, then moving on, because... The another example in a more moderate and current example of earning your victories, Dawn Brothers. Because after because whenever they fight a monster, it is of course based off of a previous Sentai mech. But after they beat the monster, they then gain a new shuriken or gear, whatever the collectibles in there are called, so that they can use. So yeah. That at least is fine. It would be... It's sometimes it's fine where you don't have character... Sometimes when you gain something new or earn it, character growth doesn't have to be what's at the forefront. Because to quote or paraphrase a bit from Linkara's History of Power Rangers review on Turbo, when he was talking about Demetria and how she spoken question per like it may it may be important for characters in any show not just power rangers to grow so they can't be just handed the answers but when you're in a life or death situation personal growth is pointless if they're dead and they can't grow anymore hence why like what i said Example from the episode Dino Charge. I don't give a shit if someone was being a dick to who. Personal growth is pointless because what if they learn too late and others can't grow anymore? Like, when you're in an ongoing battle, you kind of don't have time to... Re Not to say that you don't, but in the middle of a fight that's happening right in front of you... You don't particularly have all the time in the world to think, okay, maybe I should have been whatever so forth. And honestly, I don't mind. Personally, I would say I kind of prefer how forms and zords or whatnot are actually gained the uh, another way where they're made. How do I think? How do I want to put this? Um, Lightspeed Rescue... Like, Lightspeed Rescue is a military operation, and therefore, they don't have time to unlock and earn new abilities. Like, no, this is an ongoing threat, so they have a working staff to refine their arsenal, and therefore increase their chances to win. Which, it, it, like I said, like, ah, words. Like I said, Lightspeed Rescue is in military operation, so that is more natural, honestly. 
And honestly, another example of that too, Zero One, because the forms in that show, Aruto or whoever else, well, mainly Aruto, he didn't just earn a new form. He's the president of a techno. He's the president of a technology company. He he instead has a straight up well. He's the president of a, of a technology based company. He's not going to earn his new forms. He instead, well, has Zaya, or basically his working staff, make his new progress keys and refine his arsenals. He's gaining them, he's not earning them, because of so forth reasons that make sense in the story. And just another example, throwing it out there, since I'm coming off of zero one, one build, he makes his forms. He doesn't unlock them or earn them. He makes them. So yeah, cool. And like I said, it's much better when you don't have to just wait and unlock or earn something. Or at least in or at least in these cases which are completely science fiction. Another and last most recent example is RPM because no no not RPM um Revice, the RPM, well, the RPM, same thing, same thing, like, they're not, the same thing, like, with RPM as in Revice, they're not earning anything and gaining anything new to be part of the story, like, no, they instead have a working staff refining their arsenal and adding more to it, so they can win, so that they can beat the bad guy. And, yeah, pretty much. Well, though, to be fair right now, most of the examples I've thrown out there have all been a matter of science fiction. So, yeah. Also, while I'm at it, I want to throw in some other examples. Like, some that are a bit more confusing, and others that are kind of the antithesis of it. Um, let me think. What's a good way to describe or more or less I want to start off with the confusing examples first Agito where I can do this now ha with Agito it's an antithesis to Kuga and how he gained his new forms like with Kuga the Oracle itself like transformed him into a new form and it was a learning experience for everyone to know how the form works, what are the drawbacks, and how to balance it out. With Agito, on the other hand, he's in the fight, all of a sudden, he can transform into this, and so on. Yes, there's further, yes, there is actual explanation as to why in Agito, but. When you're watching a sh when you're watching like the second episode and all of a sudden that happens, and then again with Trinity when he debuted Trinity form, like yeah he could just do that apparently. Yeah. Oh, and also another confusing example of where forms are just given, like or we're just there, Ryuki. Here. That's literally Ryuki. <laughs> like, that's literally Ryuki. Odin just looks at Naito Ryuki and just goes, Here. Take it. Use it. Bye. And to counter off of that, which are examples of forms that are just there with no particular explanation or are just, once again, here, um, a good counter for that would be, honestly, W, because at the very start of the show, including Begins Night, or at least Begins Night and Episode 1, they set up that W has a majority of his forms right off the bat, and the only other two he gets later are Fang Joker and Extreme. With Fang Joker, not so much. It just found Philip. 
And with Extreme, honestly, with them gaining Extreme, what was more important was that their growth, it was Shotaro and Phillips' growth and relationship getting better and re and re solidifying their partnership. But that's, or at least what's more important is that the personal growth and their relationship or friendship. But on the other hand, while not focusing on that, Extreme was always going to be there after it showed up. And so it was going to come back around at some point. But once again, with W, it's a matter of it was the personal relationship aspect of seeing them both grow together is what gained is what gave them their new and ultimate form. And while I'm at it, last example, um Dino Fury. Specifically with the auxiliary keys, because once again, with Ryu Soldier, they just have them. With Dino Fury, at least, it's made, pr they made it pretty clear that these, that they just had them straight from the beginning, still from this previous conflict. And the fact that, say, I, honestly, I prefer it a lot more in Dino Fury, where it's, yeah, we still have all these keys that are from a previous conflict, whereas opposed to Ryu Soldier. Hey, we got this too. I think it's because we see where they're coming from first as opposed to, hey, here's this, use it. But yeah, that's just how I think and feel. Honestly, while I do agree with others, that for if you're gonna be watching a tokusatsu show like from Sentai, Power Rangers, or Kamen Rider, you want to you see your characters win but you also want to see them grow as well because there's an interesting story behind it. But there's still, but there's still those cases of when there's when those forms are gained and how. Like with another example, with Drive, it's a matter of, or at least with yeah, with Drive at first for a little bit, it was a matter of having the right mental state for technology I guess to which I kind of want to go back and forth a bit about because well drive is a cop and so to have that mentality is probably what belt was going for that right cop mentality is probably what belt is going for because the when you're a cop you can't look at things black and white you gotta look at things gray but on the other hand like what I said too Personal growth would is kind of pointless if your characters are dead and therefore can't grow anymore. Think about, honest to God, think about Megaforce or Super Megaforce. Like, when Gosei, once again, paraphrasing Linkara from his review of Megaforce and Super Megaforce, if something is made for the team already, give it to them. Don't just say you've unlocked a new power because it's not like checking and it's not like checking it's not like seeing how they do on their report card. This is an ongoing fight against evil. So if you have something that can help, give it to them. No problems. Well, that's about all I can think of and what I was really going for. And I know I sound like I possibly go along more the science fiction side of things where they're just where think where new things are just made for the protagonist and so there. But like what I said too, I do make exceptions for where things are actually earned. Like in like in Go Kaiju and what or whatnot. But what I liked from those other examples that I gave was that they were worked for. They didn't have to like learn something new about themselves. They, it was basically like leveling up in RPG. Hey, you complete this level, here's something new. And honestly, I like that a bit more. Well, I like both a bit more, but who's to say?
Actually, I do to say, but yeah, anywho, that is today's video. Oh, God, words. What time is it? It's just. All right, I gotta get ready for work. Thank you guys for watching. Please never forget to like, subscribe, share this video, tell your friends about Comrade Black Man. What do you guys think? Do things in Tokusatsu need to be earned more, or should they just be, depending on the genre, just given when it's necessary? Please let me know in the comments down below, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.